Corporal Brent McCarthy, Royal Air Force, joined us in 1st Battalion Welsh Guards from the Royal Air Force Police prior to our Afghanistan deployment. During six months of training prior to the tour, he became a hugely valued and trusted member of what was to become an incredibly tight-knit team. His intelligence, wit and desire to muck in with every aspect of the battalion he was supporting ensured that he became hugely respected amongst the men that he went on to live and fight with in Helmand. He shared every danger and discomfort alongside us and was incredibly professional in his role as, as an advisor to the Afghan National Police. Every member of the Police Mentoring Advisory Group, be they Welsh Guards, Royal Military Police or Royal Air Force Police, were devastated by his loss, which galvanised us to carry on the work he gave so much to. We extend our heartfelt sympathies to his family, the family of an airman who became very much part of our family in Afghanistan. Since the loss of our son Brent, our lives have been shattered beyond belief. If it wasn't for the support shown towards Sarah, Jody, and myself, we would have had no idea how we'd get this far. Although the inquest seems to have brought some closure, we remain devastated the loss of our wonderful son. Brent was a fun-loving, highly motivated, and had big plans for the future. Sadly, now, we will never get to share those times with him. Since his death, we have learned just how popular and loved Brent was. This has filled us with immense pride and has gone some way to help us to deal with life as it is now. Brent's memory will live on through everyone that knew him, his niece Mia, his nephew Chiron, plus all future generations of our family. Bless you Brent, we love you dearly. Finally, our thoughts and sincere best wishes go out to Lee Davis's family also. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much.